Hey guys, I'm Kaylee with Kaylee's Corner. Hey, and I'm Mark the Reds. And we thought it'd be fun to do some Christmas baking for everyone. So... Okay, no, no, no. Let's rephrase that. I thought it would be. The girls thought it would be fun E if I tried to bake something. Of course. They don't, they don't think I know how to cook. <laughs> Are you going to whip out some special skills? No, because I really don't know how to cook. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to make Mrs. Claus candy cane snickerdoodles. Mm, they sound good. They sound really good. Yeah, they sound really good. They sound really good. Well, first thing you got to do, you got to preheat your oven to 400. Okay, so we'll preheat. Hmm. <laughs> do you know how to use your oven? <laughs> We're at your house. I don't know how to do that. Alright, preheat oven to 400. Awesome. Okay, now... We have to mix the butter and sugar together until it's smooth. So we need a cup of butter and a cup and a half of sugar. Okay, well I got the cup. Okay. And I got the butter. Okay. And we're going to jam it in there. No, you're gonna cut it. Cut it, all right. So anyone who's baking, if you look at the side, typically on these big things of butter, they actually have on it your measurements. So Mark, all you gotta do, that little line there, you cut along that, this whole half will be a, half, a cup of butter that you can oh. just throw in the bowl. All right. I don't want to cut my fingers off, so I'm letting you use the knife. All right. So, one cup of butter. Look at that. Just like a pro. Totally was. Look, and it's like totally smooth. <laughs> okay, and I'll get the sugar ready. butter and sugar until they're smooth. Okay, I'm gonna let you do that. You're gonna let oh, Yeah, okay. I'm gonna let you do that. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so we've got the uh, butter and eggs all mixed together smoothly. So next is we have to put in two eggs. Perfect. <clears throat> and this gives me a chance to show off to the girls because they didn't believe that I can crack an egg with one hand. So, we're gonna do this, but I'm going to tell you a cool little cooking trick. If you're going to try this at home and you're not very good at it, which I can't guarantee I'm going to be awesome at it right now, but if you're not very good at it, crack the egg into another bowl before you dump it in there or you'll be picking the eggshells out of there. All right? So, you guys ready for this? I'm watching. Are you ready I'm, for this? I'm waiting for it. See, they want me to do on the shoulder toss too, but I'm going to get it on the roof over there. So, all right, here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, look at that. Any shells? No shells. No so shells. Impressive. You see that? I can you do it twice. We need an applause button. <laughs> Ta -da! All right. Okay, so we put the egg in. All right, so we've got our two eggs. Two eggs. Da -da 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 -da. And then we have to add in the cream of tartar and baking soda. All right. Baking soda, you need a teaspoon. Cream of tartar. Oh, we're gonna blend this first. <laughs> but I just, usually when I make this, I make, I put it all together. It smells good. It smells like flour, eggs, and sugar. There's no flour in it, yeah. Right, that's right. <laughs> okay, so we've added in the eggs. Let's get all of our dry ingredients together. Perfect. So you need two and three quarter of a cup of flour. Two and three quarter. It's on the bottom. Ah. Two and three quarter cup? Yeah. You know, it would now be time to do a quick little push for the January 30th show? I think it would. <laughs> I think it would. So, 
January 30th. You never know, Mark might do some baking for the show. We'll see. January 30th, Mark has the Intimate Evening with Mark Lorenz that we have Trinity Bradshaw opening up for. Um, tickets are available through either myself or Cheryl. And they are $35 a ticket, and it's dinner and a show. I think Mark just wanted to take the this focus is, off of his measuring skills. <laughs> this is totally the way I cook. I dirty every dish in the house when I cook. So you notice we did two and a half cups. So I used the cup, the half, and the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, let's add in to the dry teaspoon and a half of cream of tartar and a teaspoon of baking soda. And we will post this recipe so it's a little easier for everyone to follow along to. Well, let's give her main a trade secret. We're not, well, we're telling them what it is as we're going. Teaspoon. Hey, see, this is the way I cook. Come on, yeah. It's kind of fun. It's fun to watch. Yeah. So, uh, were you the baker with growing up with Christmas? The baker no. of everyone? No. No. My uh, my grandma was. Well, my grandma and my mom were the bakers. They were the ones that made all of the sugar cookies and. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. I was the one that ate them all. That was my designated job at Christmas time. All right. Sounds like a typical guy's job. Okay. There's our tartar. Cream of tartar. Yep. And we need uh, one tablespoon of... No, 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 not tablespoon, oh, teaspoon. Oh, teaspoon. See, you know what, it always... <laughs> if you mix that up, they may not turn out very well. I think you had it right. That's a half, so... Is this the baking? Yeah, that's baking soda. Right. <laughs> so now we have to add this. We'll give it a stir. Make sure everything's all mixed. Okay, now we have to add this slowly into that. And we're gonna hand stir it. Because if we use the mixer, it's just gonna go berserk. All right. Okay? All right, slowly. Slowly. We should remind everybody, check out a couple of cool things that we do. Uh, the Shadow Canada Facebook posts that we do. So that's every Friday. That gives you a chance to, uh, to get in on a comment. We pick some serious things, sometimes we just pick the funny things, you know, put your comments in on the Facebook site and shout out Canada. And then uh, we should talk about... Uh, Periscope. Periscope. Give Periscope. Your... We should actually do a Periscope while we're doing this. Think <laughs> of a teaser of what we're doing. <laughs> this is Mark burning the cookies. <laughs> Burnt candy canes later. Yeah, we should talk about the Periscope thing, which is uh, give us your two cents. So it's all original. Brand new uh, songs that um, I myself and special guests have written together. And uh, that gives you a chance to be the very first in the world to hear it and to comment on it. You know, tell us if you like it, you love it, you hate it. That's looking pretty good, Kaylee. It's looking decent. All right, here's the rest. Okay. All right, that's all done. You know, I should tell you, the last time I cooked, okay. This isn't the last time I cooked, but uh -oh. this was one of the very first times I cooked, actually. I didn't quite realize that you couldn't put Campbell's soup in the can in the microwave. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and what happened when that ha when you did that? I had to buy a new microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I bet we can one-up that. Oh, yeah? Your manager. We have this uh, really fancy home alarm system that <laughs> the home alarm system is connected to the smoke detector. So when the smoke detector goes off, the home alarm system goes off and it goes right to the fire department. And if you don't stop it and you don't answer your phone, the fire department will show up. Well, Shara was baking a pie and the pie bubbled over a little bit. Next thing you know, the fire department's showing up and everyone on the call is just getting phone calls saying, is there a fire at your house? No, nope, just the pie. Ooh. All the little dirt to hold back for another day, really? <laughs> How'd the fire department show up at your house, huh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> See?
See, I can honestly say okay. the fire department has not been here yet. Although sometimes when I'm barbecuing, it looks like the house is on fire, so I'm working on you that. You never know, it could happen. Yeah. Could happen. Okay, so let's set this aside, and we actually have to blend up our candy canes for it. We need crushed candy canes. All right, so let's, uh, you ever done this before? Are you sure this is going to work in a bullet? Should. I don't see why it won't. <laughs> I love that, dude. <laughs> My car should be able to run on Jack Daniels. So we're going to put in, so I've already got three candy canes in here, let's add in, put in five just to be on the safe side. I say we do all of them. All 16? Sure. Then we're just going to have like candy cane powder laying around. Oh, yeah, we can make a candy cane squishy or something. Squishy? Slurpy. Oh. <laughs> Falling. Okay. So this is an experiment in motion because I haven't tried it. <laughs> I've never this seen it. one part I haven't tried. Blend candy canes in a <laughs> Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> wow, that worked awesome. Oh it totally oh, we're gonna inhale peppermint here. A funny feeling. So you can look in and it's all blended up. Candy canes. So we did five, that should be enough, maybe. If not, we can do more. We won't do 16, like Mark says. Okay, so now all that's left is we have to roll all the dough into one inch balls. Reminder, <clears throat> when you're cooking, <laughs> get rid of your rings and your watches because getting oh. cookie dough out of it do you plan on rolling cookie dough up your arm? Oh yeah. <laughs> See, this is this is Kaylee's idea of a good cookie. And this is mine. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work as good as I thought. <laughs> you got some technique there. Gee, thanks. You're gonna have to uh, teach the viewers that. Sounds like we have someone who wants to join in our, our cookie making. Yes. See? Now you look at that, then you look at this one. We'll totally be able to tell which. Wouldn't this be an awesome size cookie? <laughs> <laughs> See, personally, I think it should be bigger, but... <laughs> so if you guys like this, make sure you do share it with your friends. Because um, you never know, we might convince Mark to do this again for another holiday. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think we're going to do this again. We're going to cook something really cool for Valentine's Day. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, you know, it's pretty easy to do a show like this. You just make yeah. a beer. Oh, no, no, no. We'll do like a Guinness cake. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Guinness won't oh, be sponsoring on. me anytime soon. <laughs> Not if you say that. <laughs> All right, so here we are with the finished... Uh, rolled up balls of cookie dough. However, can you tell who me? Yeah, we, we seem to have come into a bit of a discrepancy as to what a one inch ball looks like. <laughs> I love how you can't even say that without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, in my house, family tradition was he who makes the biggest cookie eats the biggest cookie. So, okay, well, <clears throat> if, I, it was, if it was up to me, all of these would be this big. Just one cookie. Yeah, on one cookie sheet. <laughs> And they'd be like, woohoo, Merry these, Christmas. These six kind of look like they might be close to the same size. I think this is kind of where you started out, and then I just kept getting bigger. <laughs> yeah. So we did blend a few more candy canes, um, just to make sure we had enough candy cane powder. <clears throat> I'm not saying it, because you'll have it on video, which <laughs> is <choose> against me. <laughs> so we're going to take all that candy cane powder. I was right. And put into the bowl. So it's a little easier to coat all of them in. Does it say anything about greasing this cookie sheet? Um, we probably should. We probably should just be safe so they don't stick, especially when we're using canned in the oven. 
My idea of greasing is as easy as using Pam. Now, yeah. lots of people use butter or grease. Mm -hmm. Whatever your preference is would work. However, you know, you take the grease and the butter and you have to go like this, whereas you just go. <laughs> I think we're safe to say that these cookies will not stick to the pan. Let's hope. <laughs> Going. Is this what we need to do for your shows? For a smoke machine? Sure. We'll just kind of yeah, spray like Pam fun. in the air and... <laughs> so we're going to coat all of these cookie dough balls in candy canes. In the crushed candy canes. And then we'll stick them, put an inch or so apart on a cookie sheet. Well, we gotta. So, when you're making cookies, you wanna make sure that all of them are kind of even sized going on the pan. No, they'll just stick together and then you'll get three for the just, one. Yeah. A small one followed by a big one followed by a small one? Sure. Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. And then we can make them into snowmen. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I think we should make? We should make super califragilisticexpialidocious fudge. Do you have a recipe for that? No, I just kind of fake it. But I can make some pretty cool fudge. Okay, we could make fudge. Of course, not a lot of it makes it to the end when you put it on the plate and try and decorate it up nicely because you eat a lot when you're cooking. Kind of like, you know. That's been happening while the camera was off quite a bit. It's good. So Mark, I think we may need another cookie sheet. I got another cookie sheet. <laughs> this, this works. What's wrong with this? I think that might be like a lasagna tin or something. No, you cook lasagna in a glass casserole dish. This one's perfect for cookies. Okay. They can't get out when they're cooking. See, if you use a cookie sheet like this, it works out really good. Guys, this is a secret, secret, secret recipe. Use these for your cookie sheets because you, when you make the cookies this big, they melt down and they make it into one solid cake. <laughs> so we're making Mrs. Claus's candy cane snicker snickerdoodle ball, or farts. <laughs> what? <laughs> So, um, other than uh, your whole whoever makes the biggest cookie eats the biggest cookie, what other family traditions do you guys have growing up? Uh, well, you know, Christmas is always a special time for us because we always get together, the whole family gets together and hangs out for a couple days. You know, you don't always get, life can be so busy and, and yeah. you know, especially for what we do, uh, you know, the touring and the playing and stuff like that. So having a couple days off to just hang out with the family is really kind of a cool time. So decorate the tree together, you know, hang out with my girls. That's cool. And you? We, um, our family is kind of dorky. We like to, <laughs> we uh, do matching Christmas pajamas for Christmas Eve that are new. We do our Christmas dinner, then we all get cleaned up, do our jammies. And we put out a bunch of appies and watch Christmas movies in our new jammies. And we do a Christmas picture in front of the tree in our new jammies every year. Hey, speaking of which, we should ask, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, I love The Grinch. I'm kind of... The old one or the new one? The new one. Ah. The new one. Of the Jim Carrey. Because you know which movie I've watched Goodbye. like 35 times already this year? Elf. We were watching that before we came over. <laughs> it was on. We usually end up having to watch Scrooge about five times over Christmas because Dad, it's one of his favorites. <laughs> one of our funnest Christmas traditions is to watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You yeah. know, the, the old version? Yeah. The one with Burl Ives singing in it. Um, the claymation one. Yeah. Because. Uh, I remember watching that as a kid, you know, uh, my mom used to get so excited when that would come on TV, so I kind of transferred that to my kids, and so that's like a Christmas tradition that we do every year. It doesn't matter how old they get, 
Yeah, I say, have to watch I it. say, here's the deal. You come over to the house, we play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, then Christmas And how starts. many times do you watch it in the run of a year? Oh, I don't know. Three, four hundred times. <laughs> sounds, sounds pretty <laughs> legit. So I think we gotta get these cookies into the oven. All right. So the oven's at 400. We're gonna bake them eight to 10 minutes. We'll, these ones probably about eight to nine. Those are probably gonna be closer to like- 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're the good ones. <laughs> so we'll start at eight minutes and we'll see. We'll see how far we yeah, get. Yeah, we'll see how far we get, so. So what do we do while we're baking? Well, the cookies are baking for that eight minutes. Well, I got kind of a cool idea. Speaking of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny Pan on it, we got cooked egg. This is why we call it Adventures in Cooking. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you know, it doesn't matter what they look like, they all taste the same. <laughs> they all taste pretty. So, on top of every cookie, you can take one of these cute little Hershey's Kisses candy cane things. So those were Kaylee's, <laughs> and these ones are mine. <laughs> oh, shush. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've kind of proven that he might know what he's doing. Well, they still look delicious. They look good. They look absolutely delicious, so. So these are the Mrs. Claus candy cane snickerdoodles. And an adventure in cooking, you Absolutely. Bet. Yeah, wait until you see what we do for Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Mark Lorenz. I'm Kaylee with Kaylee's Corner. Thank you very much for joining us, you guys. And uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes.